behind in the good old days They just keep on coming Yeah, we're moving on Got the world of me and no place I'd rather be Than rolling for Noel, we got oyster mushrooms for me to make something delicious and spices some, and some cool spices we don't have. Oh, more plums. <laughs> So Jen just told me that we have no water pressure in the bus. So as we just got home, so we're gonna go check out. You wanna come with me? Yeah, I just wanna see what it looks okay. like. Go check out and see what's going on. Get home, turn on the sink to wash our hands from a nice day. Oh, we got a puddle. <laughs> well, we got water. Glad that's out here and not in our bus. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Can I hold it while you play with it? No, the hose broke. Yeah, the that's a nice hose, right? That's this, nice this is hose. super nice hose, but we've had it since day one. So we it's did. Uh, ten months in, eleven months. So in. ten, eleven months in, ruptured. So, so go ahead, and you hold the camera. Okay. You know, good thing is we do have spare hoses, so it's not that hard to fix and swap. Bad news is this hose is trash. Hmm. So there you go. That's what happened. Wow. Our hose broke. Now, so. if we weren't home, I mean, we, we were not home when that happened. But like, what so, if it could it could have happened anywhere in the hose? Yeah, absolutely anywhere in the hose. But 
this is what they call our wet bay. Uh huh. So in here is where the water hooks up, and there's drainage. And it's all plastic. Everything in here is allowed wet. So okay. if, say if it were broken here, yeah, it would have just okay dripped up the bottom. The so it, this would have never gone into our bus. No. Okay, good. It goes into our bus right here. Wow, this but, is crazy. No, it's, okay. I usually hook up both of these. Okay, so we still need to order a new one. So we'll still have to order one. But, it's also a lesson that you should always have a second something on hand because it like never fails eventually something's going to go wrong and then instead of us having to rush to a Walmart a half hour away again yeah we don't have to go anywhere thank you yeah, five minute fix here we go this is um the little cork that you were making fun of me for messing with the other day yep I hooked it up to some bungee wire and turned it right into one of these bungee latches now I did it around twice so that way it uh latches but just like this yeah quick tip Alrighty. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Five minute fix. Five minute fix on our Sunday. <laughs> All right. All right. So I just uh, dumped my mushrooms on here, added my soy sauce. So I'm letting that do its thing, letting them marinate and, and grill and all that. So that takes its time. And then I uh, switched covers here so I had room to do the mushrooms. But these are looking really pretty. That look nice. Wow, it's beautiful. Yeah. We just leave that alone. We don't need to keep messing with it too much. We let it kind of steam and do its thing. And then um, after I finish up with these mushrooms, I'm going to add in the uh, peas and corn to warm that up. And after that, we can just mix it all together with our rice and we'll be all set. Okay, so I'm going to make my vegan yum yum sauce. And if you're not vegan, no big deal. You just use your regular mayo. I'm using my vegan mayo. That's literally the only difference. You do a very unhealthy amount of mayo. You do some tomato paste. Literally, you see, I, I eyeball everything hint of a little bit of lime juice, garlic powder, rice vinegar, need to get some more of this soon. That is a very strong flavor so you don't want to overdo that. Sriracha, which recently has been out of stock so we need to find more of it put a good amount of that in there and then we use maple syrup anything that is like requiring sugar or anything to be sweet we do maple syrup like so then I go ahead and add some water to thin it out Okay, now what I have learned is you want to do a whisk. You want to do a whisk, not a spoon. And that's about it, your yum yum sauce. I made it pretty thin, I added a lot of water because it does have such high fat with the mayo that I thin it out so that when they um, drizzle it on, they don't just dump like heaps of creamy sauce. I let them pour it on for the flavor, but um, but it's not too, too like thick. I, I like it nice and thin just to kind of drizzle over. That's it.